Hello everybody, can you guess what we're going to talk about today? That's right, it's Earth Day. Happy Earth Day everybody. Today we will ask, what is Earth Day? Why is Earth Day important? What is the theme for Earth Day 2021? Why is it important to restore our Earth? And how can our world leaders help against climate change? And what can you do to help? So first of all, what is Earth Day? Put your hand up if you've heard of Earth Day before. OK, Earth Day is an annual global event that takes place on the 22nd of April. OK, this year it's going to be three days, three Earth Days, and they're starting on the 20th of April this year. So we get two extra days. OK, 1970 was the first year that Earth Day was held. And since then, more people have shown their support for the environment by becoming involved. And this year, Nishkarma are going to be involved. And in fact, every year we're going to celebrate Earth Day um, from now on. And each each year we'll have a different theme or, or a different fundraiser to celebrate and look after our Earth. So why is Earth Day important? Some people say we only have one planet Earth. There is no planet B. What do you think that means? Have a little think. I'll give you a, a little minute to have a think. OK, it means that we've only got one chance. OK, we have to look after this planet because when it's destroyed, we can't bring it back. OK, we need to look after it and uh, protect it as much as we can. And Earth Day is an opportunity to remind ourselves that this Earth is important to us all year round. Climate change and other environmental breakdowns have led to new fatal diseases spreading worldwide. And did you know that the Earth's average temp temperature has risen? by one degree Celsius since the Industrial Revolution due to the impact of human activity. Now, one degree may not seem a lot, but actually the lit such a little change is having a devastating impact worldwide. And a bit later, you'll see some pictures that you're going to talk about in more detail showing some of this um, destruction and some of the bad things that have happened because of that one degree Celsius change. So the theme of Earth Day 2021 is called Restore Our Earth. And we must restore our Earth, not just because we care, but because we live on it. And everybody deserves to live on a healthy planet. We have to think about our virtues of cleanliness and accountability. The Earth's health, health is everybody's responsibility. It's mine, it's yours, it's your teachers, it's your moms, it's your dads, it's your nans, it's your grandpas, it's everybody's around you, okay? Unless we all work together, we won't be able to sustain a healthy planet. This year, Earth Day is running a variety of campaigns, such as the Canopy Project, which is to sustainably plant trees for a greener future. The Great Global Cleanup, which is helping clean up waste and recycle reusable materials in our public places. And the final one is the Earth Challenge. And this gives us the power to capture and collect billions of observations around the world in many areas, such as air quality, climate change and plastic pollution. So why do you think it's important to restore our Earth? Okay, Earth Day is a campaign that features plants and animals that provide us with essential services to our ecosystem. We depend on these for our world to stay healthy. Can anybody think of any plants or animals that we depend on um, for our world to stay healthy? Some really important ones. Have a little think. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got coral, bees, butterflies, forests and fish. After the recent events of the global pandemic, our Earth needs all the love and care we can provide so that it can be restored back to its former glory. Let's take a look at some of these in a bit more detail. So forests. Did you know that forests are home to about 80% of the planet's animals and plants? And some of us might know that uh, we're having a bit of a problem with deforestation, which means cutting down the forests. And what would happen if we cut down the forests? That's right, we won't have the homes for the animals and plants. 
Our forests have an important role. They capture and store huge amounts of carbon and release oxygen into the air. So without all of these trees, we wouldn't be able to breathe because we all know that we need oxygen to breathe. So the more plants we have, the fresher our air is that we can breathe. Bees. Did you know that a queen bee can live up to five years with the help of her worker bees and drone bees, which can only live for just five to six weeks? Bees are essential pollinators and they provide food for humans and other animals. Every third bite of food we take is thanks to the work of bees. So as you can see, they're really important for us to have our food. And uh, reception went for a little spring walk in the forest the other day and we actually saw loads of bumblebees on our field. OK, so they are around. We just need to encourage more and more. Coral. Did you know that the world's largest coral reef is the Great Barrier Reef, just off the coast of Australia? It's so big that it can be seen from space. I would love to go and visit it. Coral reefs take up less than 1% of the ocean floor. However, they support more than 25% of all ocean life. And fish. Oh, this fish in the picture is called a parrotfish. And the largest parrotfish on record grew to, up to about four feet, which is 1.2 metres long. So if you have a metre stick in your classroom, have a look at that. And it's even bigger than that, even longer than that. So that is one big fish. OK, and parrotfish are really important for the role, uh, for the health of our life in our oceans. They can help the coral reefs to stay health healthy by removing the excess algae that make it difficult for corals to thrive. Butterflies. Did you know that scientists estimate there are between 15,000 and 20,000 different species of butterfly in the world? And butterflies are another type of insects that pollinate, pollinate a variety of plants, creating diversity among plants and animals. So what can you do to help? Although it might feel impossible to reverse climate change, each of us can make changes to help our world. So we could reduce consumption of unsustainable fossil fuels. That means switching off lights when they're not needed, unplugging electronics when not in use, choose natural sustainable materials such as bamboo or woods rather than plastics. OK, so I'm just going to give the teachers a little note here. We really need to be turning off our computers at the wall every night um, because we are now monitoring our school's electronic, electric use and we want to reduce this as much as possible. So if you could please do that, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. And we can reduce pollution and we can do that by walking or using bikes when possible. You can put litter in waste bins or take it to the recycling centres and take a bag and and some gloves and go on a litter pick around your home or school. So we're already doing loads of these things for our school, OK? We've started our new WOW walking to school uh, programme and we've got recycling bins on the way. So we're really doing lots already at our school. But we don't just do these things at school. We have to do them at home as well. And some of our parents might not know these things. So we have to educate them and tell them what we've learned at school. What else can we do? We can reuse and recycle. We can find a different use for old things. If you can't, then we can take them to our local recycling centre. We can eat less meat and dairy. Luckily here we're a vegetarian school, so we're already reducing that by, by loads anyway. But meat production uses lots of resources and it's linked to habitat destruction in special areas such as the Amazon rainforest. Farm animals also produce methane, which is a very harmful greenhouse gas which contributes to climate change. And we can take action. You could, if you feel really passionate about this, you could write to your local MP to tell them your concerns and ask them what they're doing to help reverse climate change. And you can join a local climate change march or protest to send a message to the government. Okay, how can our world leaders help against climate change? We all have a responsibility to look after our planet for future generations to enjoy. This year, the president of the USA, Joe Biden, is bringing world leaders together to discuss climate change on Earth Day as part of a youth-led summit. So what action will you take today? 
okay? We have a responsibility to look after our planet. It is our only home. Okay, now before I talk about our activities for Earth Day, I'm just going to leave you with a bit of a quote from our Nishkan passport, okay? And this one is about kindness, okay? Kindness means to show you care about others. Kindness is knowing that everything is part of God's creation. Kindness means you care for others and the Earth. It means to care about yourself. When we feel angry, we try to be kind and not cruel. Kindness is showing love to someone who is sad or needs your help. And here are, the, here are the signs of success for kindness. I give tender attention to others. I do things that make others happy. I give freely without hope of reward. I help the earth by recycling. I am kind and not cruel. I accept people who are different. Kindness awakens my heart. So today you have all come in your Earth Day clothes so that we can raise money for a new school pond. And this will encourage biodiversity, which means lots of animals and plant life, onto our school grounds. Today we've got some activities for you. We're all going to participate in Earth Day activities this afternoon, okay? So every class is going to hold a P for C type discussion about a photo that links to our environment. After the discussion, I'd like you to create a piece of artwork to display your feelings and thoughts about the stimulus. This could be a picture or a poem or even a letter. I would really like when you're having that discussion, it needs to be led by you guys, okay? I don't want your teachers talking at you. I want to hear your thoughts. And it'd be really great if your teachers could write down some quotes about what you guys have said so that we can share those with the rest of the school.